In this video, I'm gonna show you how to optimize your MacBook's storage so you do not run out of space. And we're actually starting right now. What's going on YouTube? It's Shaq here, back with another video. And okay, I know, I know. I'm sorry, I actually didn't record for the past two months because I went through some personal issues, but do not worry, I feel much better now and I'm back to crank up that engine. I'm gonna upload tons of videos, so make sure you stay tuned because I've got a lot of dope content to deliver to you guys. I'd like to take a minute to thank all of you guys for supporting this channel. We're so close to 2,000 subscribers in this channel where I talk about tech, hacks and fixes, and honestly, this is insane. I'm actually preparing a Q&A video for the 2,000 subscribers milestone so you guys can get to know me better so that we can get closer to each other. So make sure you drop your questions in the community tab of this channel. I've actually made a post in there. All you need to do is just open the post, go to the comment section and drop your questions over there. I'm gonna respond to anything you're gonna ask me and I really appreciate it. Now let's go straight to the topic. Since the SSDs came into picture, we started noticing that companies started manufacturing laptops with less storage capacity, which is annoying, but I'll tell you why. Years back, we still had the technology of hard disk drives. I mean, we still have it, but it's not that common nowadays, which is known as the HDD. These ones are bigger in size and cheaper when compared to the SSDs. SSDs are smaller, lighter, and they even help your computer in performing faster. SSDs do play a very important role when it comes to production or manufacturing of lightweight laptops. Nowadays, we've got a lot of lightweight laptops and honestly, HDDs wouldn't even fit inside the laptop. That's why SSDs are a better choice when compared to hard disk drives. But SSDs are much more expensive than hard disk drives and this is where things start to happen. Companies actually started thinking in different ways to avoid a sudden spike on the price tag of the laptops. And one way of doing it is by offering less storage capacity because the more storage you offer, more expensive the SSD gets. That's why companies started producing laptops with 128 gigs of storage. And if you wish to have more storage, you can actually upgrade, you just need to pay more. You pay more, you get more storage. While in the past, when HDDs were still being used, it was really easy to find a laptop with one terabyte of storage. But nowadays, since SSDs are much more expensive, things have changed. But do not worry, because this channel is all about having your back, and I'll show you how to optimize your MacBook's storage. I personally am a YouTuber, and I only have 128 gigs of storage. Imagine dealing with large video files with only 128 gigs. Yeah, I still managed to get it done. Obviously, if I had more storage, it would be much easier, but in my situation, I do not have, so I'll show you my tricks and my hacks to get my job done with low storage capacity. Let's get into my MacBook. Here we are on my MacBook and the very first thing we're gonna do is go to the top left corner and tap on MacBook. Okay, so we're gonna tap on about uh, this Mac and we're going to drive into the storage tab. Over here, we've got information about how our space is actually being eaten up. So basically, we've got um, our files divided into different categories. We've got uh, documents, we've got applications, we've got photos over here, and then we've got iCloud Drive and System. This is pretty cool uh, for a starting point. But okay, let me tap on Manage to get more detailed information about how my files are occupying space. Over here, we've got applications, uh, books, documents, and a lot more. So we've got more categories in exactly which files are consuming more storage. But as you guys can see over here, we've got system eating up most of the storage of our laptop. We've got 40 gigabytes being eaten up by system. And the fun fact is that it doesn't allow us to get more detailed information about system. And one thing I did notice uh, based on my experience is that most of the files in system are actually temporary files or cache files from the applications or software itself files that we actually don't need anymore and we actually need to delete those in order to get more 
space and this is where we actually need some external support from different third-party applications in order to help us locating those files and deleting them okay and this is where i'm going to talk about a software that does this for you what we're going to do next is go to our internet browser and go straight to daisy disk app Dot com okay this is the software that i'm talking about and by the way this video is not sponsored by daisy disk application uh, uh, by any means this is just a recommendation from my side because i personally use this application and i find it really really useful so the application costs around ten dollars but we've got a free trial version where you can actually uh, uh, get it for free and test the application if you like it you can actually uh, purchase it so i'm gonna tap on free trial to download the free trial version it's going to take you a few minutes depending on your internet speed to download uh, the application. You then need to tap once on the zip file to unzip it and then double click on daisy disk to install or to launch the application. Okay, so we've got this pop up right here. We're going to tap on open and this is how the application looks like. So we do not need to install anything. We just need to launch it. Okay, so we need to wait a bit if we want to continue with the trial a version of the software since you'll probably be testing the application trying the application uh we're gonna go with the continue trial version we're gonna tap on continue trial and right here the very first thing you need to do is tap on scan okay so what the software is actually doing here is it's scanning the whole ssd the entire storage of the pc and then it's gonna tell me which applications and which files are actually eating up more storage on our macbook so as you guys can see, we've got detailed information of all the files from the files which are occupying more storage to the ones which are occupying less storage. Okay, so let me just quickly tap on users. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. I'm going to tap on my user and then I'm going to tap on movies. For example, we've got over here iMovie library and Filmora 9 library occupying space. So iMovie library is actually eating up seven gigabytes. And this is actually because every time you import files to your iMovie library, it actually duplicates the file. And that ends up occupying a lot of space on my MacBook. I personally use iMovie and it occupies a lot of space. And as you guys can notice, on the detailed information offered by my MacBook itself, it says that iMovie only occupies 2.79 gigs. While in reality, I've got iMovie library occupying six gigabytes right here. So this goes under the system tab that the official MacBook software doesn't allow me to access. So what I'll be doing here is I'll go to iMovie library. I'll tap on show in finder. Oops. Okay. So in here, we actually need to buy the application in order to locate the file and delete it but do no way one thing we can do as of now is uh, i'm gonna tap on finder once i'm gonna tap on search and i'll type the file name exactly how it's written on the daisy disk application i'm gonna write imovie and as you guys can see i've already found the imovie library file okay so this is a quick hack if you haven't paid the software yet and you, you want to find the files as you guys can see i'm going to tap on get info and we've got over here 6.8 gigabytes it's the same file okay so i'm going to delete this thing right here real quick because it's duplicated files okay so i don't need them like uh, obviously whenever you're editing your file your video files on imovie if you use imovie make sure you get your editing done you export the video and then you delete the imovie library that's gonna free up a lot of space for you so this was just an example that I gave you guys using the iMovie. The same way you can actually explore and find a lot more files in here, which are actually duplicated or cache files or temporary files. But make sure that you're actually trying to read what you are actually deleting. Otherwise, you're going to delete important files on your MacBook. And then this is going to be something a bit complicated. Okay, so make sure you get to know exactly what are you actually deleting on your laptop so that you can free up a lot of space this is super useful for me and i hope it is for you as well something you would also consider doing to help you storing your files your large files is buying an external drive so you can store all your files out there I actually went through a few drives and I selected the best ones that I found and I did link them in the description box below so if you're into getting one I actually have a list in the description 
box below make sure you check it out and if you actually purchase something from the description box below I actually get a kickback because I'm actually into the Amazon affiliates program I get a kickback and that helps supporting this channel do not worry the original price of the product doesn't change at all I really hope this video helped you somehow optimizing your storage if it really did do like the video leave a comment in the comment section below and do not forget to leave your question in the Q&A post in the community tab of the channel I'll see you in the next one you already know what to do hit that red subscribe button if you haven't yet and turn on the bell notifications icon so you stay notified every time I upload a brand new video peace